Hi everyone, welcome to my sewing studio. Today I have a quick tutorial for you on how to do a piped and bound edge. First, I'm Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs where we talk all things sewing and smocking. And as I said today, we're talking about sewing with a um, piped and bound edge. Now, if you've been around for any length of time, you know that I love piping. Um, I think it is a fun, easy, inexpensive way to just give a pop of color and a special design detail to elevate your sewing. Um, well, here I've used it on this fun little um, children's dress. I use it for myself on my sewing every time, all the time, um, just because, again, it is a really easy way to sort of elevate that design without going over the top. It's kind of subtle. So um, as you can see here, I've used it to um, finish a sleeve. Now typically whenever you're going to insert piping, you need to have two layers. Like in this case, you would need the sleeve to be lined and then you could um, insert the piping between the sleeve and the lining. But with this technique, you can see there's no lining and it gives a really nice finished edge inside that sleeve. So where else could you use this besides a sleeve? Well, obviously the sleeve, but you could use it if you're finishing a sleeveless armhole. You could use it to finish um, a neckline if um, you're not doing inserting a or don't have a collar. And you also can even use it to finish a hem. So um, with that in mind, let's um, delve in and I'll show you uh, how easy and simple it is to um, utilize this treatment. Here is my bias strip. It's two inches wide. I've folded it in half and I've pressed it. I'm gonna take my piping cord and I'm just gonna lay it down the middle of the strip. I have my machine set to a normal setting. And so it's going to stitch, um, straight stitch at 2.5. I have on um, my pin tuck foot. I'm gonna fold the strip in half again, and I'm gonna keep that piping cord right up against the folded edge and I'm going to line up the folded edge and the raw edge. And then I'm going to put that um, piping cord over in the groove. And you'll notice I have, I've made my piping cord, I've cut that a little bit longer. That's to give me a little bit of a tail to hold on to. And I'm going to move my needle position over two notches. I don't want it up tight against the um, cord, but I want it to just kind of be snug up against it, but I want some wiggle room in there. I'm just going to make sure that I keep everything lined up as I'm doing this. I want my raw edges even, and I'm going to use my fingernails to kind of keep that piping cord over against the fold and within the groove. edges, the two. So I'm not cutting the folded edge, but I'm going to cut the two raw edges and I'm going to trim that down to about an eighth of an inch. Next, I'm going to pin the folded edge of the strip and I'm going to line it up with the raw edge that I'm um, sewing and finishing. And you'll see that the wrong side of the strip 
the trimmed part is going against the right side of the garment. Let's pin this. I'm back at my machine. I'm using that same pin tuck foot. I'm putting it through um, the little piping groove again. I'm shortening my stitch length to 2.0 to just help me. And I've shifted my needle position one um, to the left. So I'm a little bit closer to the piping cord. And I should be stitching right inside that previous line of stitching. this a good press. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim my base fabric again down to about an eighth of an inch. So I'm not um, cutting any of the blue. And then we're going to turn this completely to this side. And I hope you can see I'm going to have a beautiful finished edge here. I'm going to go press it. I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so here's my pressed neckline. Here's the right side. You can see this beautiful piped edge finish. On the wrong side, you have this lovely binding with a nice fold, so beautiful finished edge. Now what I do at this point is I have two choices. I can um, top stitch this edge in place from the wrong side, which will, of course, that give me a line of stitching showing here on the right side. Or if I don't want that, I can hand stitch using a slip stitch this in place so that it's invisible um, on the other side. So I'm going to go top stitch it so you can see what that looks like. If you um, preferred the hand stitching, that's how I finished this. So you can see on the front here, you don't see any of the stitches. I just did a simple slip stitch to finish this in place. So I have on my edge stitch foot, I'm still um, actually gonna go back up to my normal stitch length of 2.5. And I am um, three clicks over with my needle position. And here's my finished neckline. I've used the contrasting thread so you can see um, what it looks like. Of course, I prefer the hand stitching just so you don't have this line of thread but it's totally up to you. And on the back side there, you can see my um, edge stitching right along this beautiful strip of bias. And there's your finished and bound edge. I hope that you will give the um, piped and bound edge a try in your next sewing project. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please join me um, again in the future. I will have uh, the next upcoming video is going to be a bunch of fun different ways to use piping. So if you've sort of wondered, well, where do you use that? It, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video and to hit subscribe so you will be notified as soon as that video goes live. And um, in the meantime, happy sewing. <music>